Well, it's me again. Um, I decided that I was going to do a follow-up to the blog that I did the other day on the Extreme Makeover Home Edition thing um, about the family that lives in Westchester and how these um, two girls with spinal muscular atrophy and their brother has Crohn's disease are getting a new house. Um, the reason I'm responding to this is because I have gotten a huge amount of comments on my um, YouTube space about it and most people, in fact all but one of the comments that I've read so far have said very negative things about my comments and I went back and listened to what I had said um, because I really wasn't sure what I had said, I forgot, it was several days ago, it was last Saturday and today's uh, Thursday, so it's been a few days, and I forgot basically what I had talked about. Well, I went ahead and looked at it again, and I'm like, what are you people thinking? <laughs> I mean, my God, I was pretty explicit in the fact that I am in a wheelchair myself. I have spinal muscular atrophy. My sister has spinal muscular atrophy. Um, all of these things are issues, and I have them. I'm just like that family, just like them. I mean, I have spinal muscular atrophy. If you don't believe me, here is my wheelchair. See? Ta-da! This is the wheelchair. Ta-da! So, I'm in one. I get it, okay? You don't have to badmouth me about how I don't understand and how I'm jealous and this and that and whatever. The fact of the matter is, I'm thrilled for this family. I think they deserve it. I think that, you know, they're a good family. They, they certainly couldn't live in the conditions they were in. My point was that I don't care for the show. I think the show is sappy. I think it's overdone. I think it over-dramatizes situations. I think it makes mountains out of molehills, if you will. I mean, yeah, the family situation sucks. And sucks. And it will suck for a very long time. But it's not the end of the world either to have a disabling disease. I have it. I know. You don't have to tell me that I don't know what I'm talking about because I know. I've lived it. I live it day after day after day. In fact, a year and a half ago, I broke my hip and my leg because of osteoporosis, which only happened because I am in a wheelchair. So I don't need to be bad-mouthed about how I don't know what I'm talking about, okay? As far as me being jealous, I'm not. I mean, I'm just not. I'm perfectly happy for this family. I have a very nice life myself. I'm not going to sit there and fantasize about what this family is getting because I really, personally, don't care. I think what they're getting is a very nice thing, and I think they deserve it. Um, so basically I just wanted to comment about that. I think that all of you that are saying that I don't know what I'm talking about and those of you who say that I didn't, I'm not counting into, taking into effect the fact that the family has two girls in wheelchairs and all that stuff. Of course I know that. I even said it in the blog. If you would re-listen to the blog, you will hear what I have said because I am just simply repeating what I've already said. Okay? Comprende? So basically Stop bad-mouthing me about this situation. I never said anything negative about the family getting the house. I just said the show is sappy. And it is. They're milking it for all it's worth, and you know it's true. And I know they need to do that in order to get the sponsorship. But the fact of the matter is, it is a sappy show. Calling a spade a spade. There it is. So anyway, if you have any other comments that you want to make to me about this whole situation, feel free to do so. Go right ahead. But don't tell me I don't know what I'm talking about, and don't tell me that I don't know what's going on, because I do. Been there, done that. Thank you.